Hi everyone, it's Carolyn here. Welcome back to Encounter Encouragement. Do you hear it? Do you hear it? Do you hear that little voice? It's inside. It's telling you to do something. What is it telling you to do? Tonight, we're going to talk about that still small voice. First off, we want to talk about hearing that still small voice. What exactly does that mean? It might come to you as a sudden, very strong urging. Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night thinking of somebody on your mind, just desperately on your mind, for no apparent reason? And so, what do you do, right? Instead, it might come as a quiet prompting over time, a little tap, tap, tap on your shoulder, another little tap, tap, tap on your shoulder, kind of telling you to go in a certain direction or do a certain thing. It might come as repeated encounters with a particular person or type of situation that you come across. The question we have is what is this still small voice saying? It may be something very specific. When you wake up in the middle of the night, it may be pray for your pastor. He's sick, he needs you, pray for him. It may be you need to pray for the person down the street that you see sitting outside every day in the afternoon getting the sunshine. It might be that you need to Pray for the homeless people under the bridge that you drive by every day and you see them out there begging. It may be something that specific. It might be a random pray for something unknown for somebody that you just don't really know. Just a thought. Pray for this. It might come as a Call so-and-so and ask them how they're doing. Just ask them how they're doing. How's the family? It may be that type of a voice. Now, what is this voice? Where does it come from? The voice is the still, small voice of the Holy Spirit prompting you and leading you to do something that you have been specifically assigned to do. Now, does that mean that nobody else in the world could do it? Absolutely not. But you have been given this voice at this moment in time to accomplish this purpose. If you don't do it, no big deal to you, right? You may lose out on a blessing. Now, you may be blessing somebody else, but you may lose out on your blessing by not doing it. And God's purpose is always going to be fulfilled, and he will find someone else to do it. So if you hear that still small voice, follow through. Why? What's the point? Well, the point is God assigned you to do it. You do it because first he asked, Second, because it's going to help the person that he asking is asking you to help, whether it be by praying for them, whether it be by talking to them, whether it be by giving them a specific thing. It also might help you to feel better about yourself. I've just done something really good. It wasn't me that did it, but God asked me to do it. And now I feel good about that. And now I feel more comfortable doing that type of thing. And now I'm able to do it again because one, I can hear the voice. Two, I can discern what the voice is saying to me. And three, I can follow and do what it's asking me to do. It allows God to trust you in that small thing to move on to something bigger and better. Now, what have you seen in your life where a little tiny voice said, go do this? Have you ever had that happen to you? I had it happen one time. 
never pick up a hitchhiker, right? Never pick up a hitchhiker. I was driving home late one night, saw a hitchhiker on the road. Something told me to turn around and go back and pick that person up. It was a young man who desperately needed a ride. He had come from work. He just needed a ride. It was a huge blessing to him, and it felt good to me to be able to help him. I've seen it in other people. When my mom passed at work, somebody said, let's take up a collection. And they went around to everybody in the building with this envelope. And they took the envelope and asked people for donations. And everybody gave what they purposed to give. Everybody gave different amounts. Nobody counted what anybody specific gave. It was exactly what I needed to get to my mom's funeral and back. It was a huge, huge blessing to me. I can never repay them. But I don't have to repay them because God is going to repay them. So I'm going to ask you, what times have you had this little voice come to you? Have you listened or have you ignored? Have you been the recipient of somebody coming to you saying, you know what, God just told me to give you $20 today. God just told me to give you this coat. God just asked me to give you this meal, to bring this meal to you. How did you feel afterwards? I'm pretty sure you felt blessed and honored to be used. So think about those times in your life when this happens. Listen to that little voice, follow through, and see what kind of blessing you'll get in return. I'm pretty sure it'll be a good one. Now, I look forward to hearing from you in the comments below on what kind of blessings that you have received from listening to that still small voice, whether it be by giving or by receiving from somebody else. And I can't wait to hear from you, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, have a very blessed day. Thanks, y'all.